Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela. Here on this channel, I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content, in particular for the woman over 40. Now today's video is gonna be a lot of fun. Not only is it my first winter styling video, it is my first video of 2024. So uh, happy new year, if I haven't said it to you all already. Hopefully this is going to be a fantastic year. It's going to be a blessed year. It's gonna be a year full of innovation and joy and love and friendship. That's what I'm hoping for everybody, including myself. Now, in today's video, I want to create some looks that are simple, simple and easy. And my way to do that is to take one wardrobe item, which is going to be this black turtleneck, and create multiple looks around this. This is something hopefully that you all can duplicate at home. I think most of us will have a black turtleneck. I really love this one, not only is it a black turtleneck which is a basic wardrobe staple but it has pattern on it which, which means it's going to be a more elevated staple as you can see here see the pattern here when i saw it i was like oh that is really cute <laughs> to the point where i bought this i bought it in black i bought it in blue and i think i bought it in purple to create some monochromatic looks i'll do i think that'll be my next video um, they did have a brown they didn't have brown in the store so i thought it was really pretty the sleeves are really long but I like to, you know, push the sleeves up like this. I am wearing a size small, it's very stretchy. The arms are kind of tight, but the rest of it is kind of stretchy. Um, and it just fits really well. So hopefully it wears as well as it looks. Now, if you like to see the looks that I've put together with this black turtleneck, then stay tuned now. Let's get started. So this is my outfit of the day and my very first look. This is probably one of my favorite looks of all times, again and again. I feel like it is very polished, it is very sophisticated, it's a very easy look to pull together. I love the way this turtleneck is fitted and I, uh, of course the ribbing makes it look more interesting and not just a regular basic. Of course I put on some black slacks and they're just a very nice high quality pair of slacks. They just seamlessly make me look really tall. They don't have any belt loops, which I like. I do have numerous pair of black slacks, but I do like some to have not have belt loops. So when you put on a color that's a monochromatic color or the color of the slacks, if you don't have belt loops, it just makes your torso look a lot longer and a lot more lean. And as you can see, I just look like one, one, long, <laughs> one long shade of black. I do have on gold accessories, just a little. I have on just uh, my Hermes click clack bracelet. I have on gold earrings and there's gold hardware on the purse, but I love this look. I also have on um, black heels and they are very high. See that? So they're very high and I did have these pants tailored for these shoes. So when I wear these pants, um, I'm five, three and a half. These pants will probably fit someone that is like five, seven so they're quite long and i love the way they look with these shoes this is just a really pretty pretty look for me now if you like an all black look but you maybe maybe i need a little bit more color you can just exchange your accessories you can exchange your shoes but if you put on a different color shoe especially if it's not a dark shoe you'll be able to see the foot a lot a lot more and it'll just cut off the length so my recommendation is to change your jewelry um, if you have belt loops, you can change the uh, color of your belt to maybe a brown belt or um, a silver or gold belt, or you can change your purse. So I'll change this purse. And you know me, I'm extra, so I would, I love this, this purse. See how much this makes a difference in this outfit. It definitely adds a pop of color. It has movement to it, so it really adds an additional um, interest to the outfit. And it's just a beautiful combination or accessory for this look. If you don't have anything like this, you can do a silver or gold tone purse if you have that, or you can just do any color would look great with black. So I have, I wouldn't wear this purse with this outfit, but you can see how gold would look with this black outfit. And then I'll show you what silver could look like. Like, see how that's beautiful as well. But if I were gonna wear silver, I would change up my accessories. You don't have to change up your accessories because silver and gold looks great together. Or if you have a black purse that's just not a 
regular black purse but it has some texture and some movement you can do that as well so this is black but it has the beading so that adds the extra texture on top of the texture with the turtleneck and so the outfit looks beautiful and just not plain and boring it still has some interest now if i'm going out rather than wear a black coat for uh, an all black look i could definitely do that i would choose a coat with some pattern now this black and white coat is beautiful it does come with a belt but i wouldn't wear the belt with it i would just wear it over my shoulders like this i could still wear the black purse with this and it still looks sophisticated and elevated and polished and i've added a gold brooch because i have on gold jewelry a silver brooch and silver jewelry would look beautiful but i would change up the purse to something with no hardware or something with silver hardware i love this as a perfect date night a perfect dinner or uh, even if you have an office or business meeting this is a beautiful look as well so this is look number two this is a military green wool blend skirt i have had it for years haven't worn it a lot but i've had it for years i think i had a sweater that matches it too i'll have to go look for that and these shoes these heels are from i think they're from mark fisher yes they're from mark fisher and i got these on sale because i bought i bought the first pair and they were so comfortable i went back on the web website and bought several other pair and this is the first time i'm wearing these heels and I think I did good. I think I did good. I knew I would wear them. I just didn't know when. Um, but this color combination is beautiful. I put on my matte black Valentino belt because again, I just wanted to look like I have on two colors. I want my look to be seamless. And because the belt is black and the top is black, it doesn't look like I'm cutting myself off too high at the waist. I chose a purse with, um, muted hardware so i could wear a silver or gold and i chose again of course to choose uh, to wear gold hardware this is a beautiful beautiful winter look now normally i would wear a black wool blend trench coat or a wool trench coat um don't know what happened to my coat i think i remember something popping off on i don't know if i took the coat to get it fixed and forgot about it or if I gave it away because I, it felt I think it it feels like it was getting a little bit old and so um yeah when I went to go create the looks for this video I realized I don't have a black long coat wool coat I've ordered it already and now is a great time to order a coat if you don't have one because it was on sale half off so, but this is my look and if I were again I'm gonna wear it I would wear a black coat or I would black I could definitely wear the black and white uh, coat as well but I like this look it's pretty it's a comfortable look it is very neutral the black and the dark green they look really great together now if you don't have similar heels or heels that match your skirt you could do a black skirt and black heels or I could also I have heels black heels that I could wear or black boots for the winter I would wear these without pantyhose <laughs> or I would wear a nude color pantyhose but this look is just fine I don't have to have holes on with these shoes but if it were really really cold outside I'm in Dallas so it's not freezing cold I would wear some of my black high heel boots so this is my next look and as you can see these pants are almost white but they're not quite white definitely a winter white which gives a lot of brightness to a winter look. It looks great with black. Black and white is always a go-to. It's, it's close enough to white to be called white, but it's really not white. But I paired it with, again, my black and gold purse because I chose black and gold hardware. Also chose a different pair of gold earrings and my Fendi shoes with the gold heel. This is a really cute, fun look. This is definitely something I would wear if I were going to meet someone for lunch or girls brunch or something like that or if i were going to a business meeting it's not as dressy as i would normally say dressy is for me um these pants these cargo pants make the look a little more casual but it is a definitely a fun outfit for winter So this is my next look. It is an all black outfit, but I add a lot of 
pattern. Well, not a lot. A couple of pieces of pattern. First of all, you have my boots. They're a tiger print. I think these are so cute and so fun. They're about three inches. They're uh, knee high or right below the knee. And I think they're pretty. I saw this skirt or this length skirt on someone and I thought I would love it on myself. And I am indeed loving it. I just love the way it the way it hangs and the, I just love the cut of it. I've also paired it with a vintage Fendi purse that I bought secondhand several years ago. And I put on these earrings by Paco Rabanne. I do have the necklace that matches and didn't do any jewelry, didn't do a belt because again, I want that one long lean look that makes me look taller. And I think this is a beautiful, fun, easy to replicate winter outfit. If you don't have a long black skirt like this, I'll see if I can still find the link if it's still available, but you probably can find something similar to this or even if you don't like a pencil skirt, you can do an A-line skirt or a long black sweater dress with some animal print boots and a purse with some pattern on it. Either way, it would look fantastic. Now, if I wanted this, this outfit to really pop, I could do <laughs> these boots. That's a lot of color. I could add these pink boots instead of these brown and black animal print boot. That would look just as good. And then if I wanted to pop, but maybe tone it down a bit, I could do these blue boots. But I like the animal print. I wanted some print and so, and it's brown and black and the purse is brown and black. Even though they're two different patterns, they work well together because the colors are very, very similar. So this is my next look. This is so pretty. I, this skirt is probably eight years old. I bought this skirt from Zara when I lived in Saudi Arabia. I love, love, love myself a pleated skirt all because it's so so feminine and it just the movement in it is just beautiful this deep merlot color is beautiful and perfect for winter so it goes really well with this black turtleneck this is a dupe of the bottega veneta purse this is from amazon let me just be clear it's from amazon and i have on some below the knee black leather boots for a very very winter comfy cozy polished sophisticated look oh and i did put on silver accessories so i have on silver earrings i think that silver looks beautiful with this with this deep merlot and if i had my black coat <laughs> if i had a black coat i would have it on with this outfit but because I just ordered it and it's not here yet i don't have a black coat on i do have a black trench coat for a raincoat a black trench raincoat but it's I mean I could wear it but it's not gonna give me any warmth but it would look cute though well that's it family I really hope you enjoyed the video I hope it inspires you to create some looks that are similar to what I created today I'll try to put links for anything that I had on that is still available or if there's something similar I will do that as well in the description box and as the very first pinned comment now again Happy New Year. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully we're gonna have fun together this year. Hopefully you're, I'll create content that's inspiring for you all and that you can use on a daily, weekly, or even a monthly basis. Now, no matter where you are in the world, I want you to know that I appreciate you. I want you to know that you are loved and I want you to have the most blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.